Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now January 24th of 2021 and ever since the very end of the sequel trilogy and the Mandalorian season two, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of Star Wars by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, George Lucas, you name it, and exactly what's in store for the Star Wars franchise moving ahead. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing is for certain is that Disney and Lucasfilm, as of right now, they are very determined when it comes to Star Wars. They are already working on over a dozen Star Wars projects as we speak. That really does speak volumes because it tells us that they are very much dedicated to their work right now. They are very much involved with Star Wars and really trying to bring things back into the mix. Really trying to bring Star Wars back to its roots of how it was before 2012 before the days when Disney took over and when Kathleen Kennedy betrayed Lucasfilm. Now, apart from all of this, what's really exciting all has to do with, of course, what George, John, and Dave have planned for The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4, which, by the way, are currently already in the works and moving along quite smoothly. Now, on top of all of this, over the years, we do know that Kathleen Kennedy caused a handful of problems, not just with the sequel trilogy movies, but also with Solo and with a lot of writers, directors, and more that stepped down and or were fired because of Kathleen Kennedy. Basically, she is a force of destruction and has only caused trouble within the Star Wars fandom. Now, with that being said, of course, what's really exciting all has to do with the fact that we have John and Dave already working on the Ahsoka Tano series already, apart from The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4. Now, with that being said, now, the, now that The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4 are currently in development, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars projects for the new universe and more. Now, it's described that as of right now, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy has been very upset and jealous over Jon Favreau's work with Luke and Grogu, and what's to come for Mandalorian Season 3. <clears throat> now, further, it's described that Kathleen Kennedy wants to stop both Luke and Grogu's story in The Mandalorian since it is in her mind, a direct signal that nobody enjoyed Luke in the sequel trilogy movies to hear, and of course, make her films look bad. Now, Kathleen Kennedy is said to have recently talked to Disney CEO Bob Chapek about the canceling of Luke and Grogu's story, since she actually believes it only creates more negativity within the Star Wars community and gives them an excuse to point fingers at the sequel trilogy and its problems. However, Bob Chapek refused to accept Kathleen Kennedy's request to end Luke and Grogu. Even Jon Favreau got involved with this situation and is said to be surprised that Kennedy went so far in an attempt to cancel the story of these two successful characters that are crucial to the Mandalorian saga. So let's go over a part of this that a lot of fans out there are very curious about right now. Now, given that Kathleen Kennedy always seems to have creative differences, right? We've seen this already even with the Acolyte series, which by the way is a big mess of a situation already. She's already having creative differences between herself and of course, Leslie Headland. So between Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie, there are already, you know, a lot of problems behind the scenes for that project alone. And that also speaks volumes. That tells us that Kathleen Kennedy pretty much has creative differences with anybody, even if it's somebody like Leslie. Now, given that John Favreau of all people, all right, I understand as to why he would feel you know, very much betrayed and intimidated by this entire situation because you have an amazing thing going like Luke and Grogu and how season two ended. You would think that Kathleen Kennedy at the very minimum would actually love to embrace this idea further, but she actually took it up with Bob Chapek to try and stop and cancel those plans to end both Luke and Grogu's story from being a big part of the Mandalorian series. Now, thankfully, obviously, you know, Bob Chapek refused that overall request or that demand to end Luke and Grogu's story. And obviously, Bob Chapek has, you know, pretty much a good idea of what fans want to see. This is a guy now that wants to create his own Star Wars legacy. He actually wants to be far superior than what Bob Iger did with Star Wars. He wants to actually be more of a fan-centered Star Wars, you know, um, person that's going to really lay the groundwork for these new movies and these new TV shows. 
Just like with Marvel, I mean, they are already doing an amazing job with WandaVision and what they have done with, of course, you know, the Mandalorian series on Disney+. Plus. Disney+, Plus is really beginning to kick up now because of Bob Chapek. This is all about Chapek, by the way. So, the thing about Kathleen Kennedy really attempting to end Luke and Grogu's story tells us enough as to what Kathleen Kennedy's intentions are when it comes to Star Wars that she never really cared about the fans, like I said before in the past. She never really cared about the overall structure of the story, per se, and is pretty much just attuned to her own agenda within the Star Wars franchise, right? So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.